What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen? Oh my gosh, Gasms is back. Oh, for like another fucking week. Um, yeah, been gone for a while again. I hate doing this, like, um, I don't know, just busy with school and life and things. But, uh, I'm gonna try to get... <coughs> oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I was sick last week and I was gonna make a commentary, but I'm fucking sick. And I lost my voice, so I'm just starting to get it back. So I like start to cough randomly because I'm like fucking sick and shit. <coughs> but uh oh my god that sounds terrible but <laughs> but um but i'm back um next week i only have to go to school for monday and tuesday and then we get a break um and then i'll be posting a lot more shit um got some pretty good games last night i was actually going on a pretty good tear and uh this is one of my first games i played i i, I got the uh moab it was pretty sick it was my first moab and i wasn't even trying to get it either um i just slapped on the specialist and decided to use a ppm 901 or whatever the fuck this thing is called. Whatever the hell it is. This is a fucking dildo gun. But it's pretty good. And uh. Yeah I just ended up getting the mob. I was playing with my brother. Uh, his friend. And my friend I think. Uh, so shout out, shout out to all you. Who helped me get the mob. Uh, number one tip for getting a mob. Play in a party. Uh, if you're trying to get a mob. While like facing with scrubs on your team. It's like ten times harder. So if you got. Look at this shit right here. Look at this final stand. How the fuck. He almost got me dude. But anyway, um, yeah, it's a lot easier to get a mob if you're playing with your friends because you could at least cooperate a little more with your friends. You're like, hey, can you put up a UAV or something like that? And uh, they'll help you out a bit more. Um, another tip, another tip is to run hardline on your setup and then, uh, look, same bitch with Final Stand. Is run hardline on your setup, on your actual kit, and then in the specialist run like Assassin or like Quick Draw or something. Uh, you don't have to put on scavenger, I just did it because like this gun runs out of ammo kind of quickly and I thought I would run out of ammo before I got the 7 kills. But if you think you can get the 7 kills, um, then go for it. You don't really need to get uh, get scavenger because once you get the 7 kills, you get all the perks in the game. So uh, it's pretty sick. Um, really liking the game. Uh, I got off to a rough start kind of, but my stats have gone up tremendously. Like I started out at like a 2.1 and my win loss was like 1.9 this weekend. And now my win loss is 3, and now my KD is like 2.59, I think. So, uh, it's pretty cool. And, uh, just having a good time. Um, I don't know, there's not really any general tips. Uh, a lot of them have already been given out by the bigger commentators. Uh, that's another thing that's frustrating. It's like these bigger commentators, they like, come up with a video every fucking day. Because they don't have anything else to do. It's like their fucking job. And I'm, like, stuck at school. And can only play video games on the weekends. And I, I get like one, or like not one gameplay, but like five or six gameplays that are actually decent enough to put up on YouTube. Because I'll get like three and four KD games, but none of which, you can't post three and four KD games on YouTube. You gotta put up like at least a seven and up. Like I try to keep it seven and up. And even then, like if it's not above 30 kills, I won't put it up. Because like 20 kill games, I don't know. Like I see bigger commentators put them up. I'm like, really? Why the fuck would you do that? And uh, yeah. PP90, whatever the fuck this thing is, it's <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's uh, it's really good. I don't know what the hell that guy was doing, but it's really good. If you haven't used it by now, uh, you probably have. All the big time commentators are pushing it. It's really good. Um, but I've been using the ACR a lot, just like everyone else. Uh, the G36 too. I've really seen a lot of people use the G36. I might start putting up games with that. The Scar is one of my favorites too. Um, but the LMG, the MK46, that thing's pretty good. Um, I might put up a gameplay with that if I can get one. And uh, this weekend, we were going to do the Wacko Classathong if you were around when I put that up for Black Ops. Um, we were going to do that for MW3 because, like, no one's done it yet. No one's done, like, weird classes or anything. So it would be pretty cool. But we were going to make a few changes to it so, like, it's not so small on the screen. Because last time you couldn't even see shit. So I'm probably just going to put the kit set up at the beginning. And then it'll fade out to, like, both of our gameplay or something. And then, uh... I don't know, just leave like serious ideas if you want me to do like LMG only or LMG tips because I'm pretty good with the LMGs. Uh, not so much with the shotguns. I'm okay with the shotguns. Like, I'm not Sandy Ravage, like, but I can hold my own. But uh, LMGs I'm pretty good with. I was a big fan of the M16 Black Ops. So uh, just hit me up uh, if you want to play. I don't play on my Gasms account anymore because this one has more prestiges. 10th uh, on COD 4, 9th on MW2, and then like 3rd, or no, 2nd, or 1st. I don't even fucking I think it's on 2nd on World at War. So I had more prestige tokens, so I played on this one. So I have seven custom classes, and I'm not even prestige yet. And then uh, I use the double XP, so I have like 
nine hours played and I'm like rank 64 right now, so it's pretty cool. Um, haven't really been playing anything other than TDM and Kill Confirmed. Like, every time we, like, just the group that I play with, there's like three or four people who can't hold their own in a fucking demolition or domination match. So I don't know. Uh, but if you do want to play, just hit me up. M80-D9A is pretty cool. Actually, no, why the fuck did I say that? It's not a pretty cool name. <laughs> I made it when I was like... I don't know 10 but right here I would show the scoreboard I was like I was this was my 24th kill I was like what the fuck what's happening I didn't get my Moab so I'm like panicking cuz like I just remember that I had gotten two kills or not two kills I remember that I had gotten kills prior to that and I was like shit how much do I need for the Moab so I was like panicking like crazy but I got the ballistic vest cuz my friend called it in uh, ballistic vest is really good like I took a sniper shot one time so uh, it's really good and then this fool right here, pick him off for the Moab. First ever Moab on my part. That's uh, pretty cool because I wasn't even trying for it. And uh, I would have survived longer, but I was like too excited. See the ballistic vest saves me there. I was too excited at the end. I was like trying to rush around to get to the other side. And my brother's like, oh, call it in because he thought there was like five people left. There's actually four people left. So when I called this shit in, it didn't even end the game, which was kind of sad. So uh, I was like, yeah, oh yeah, I just ended the game. Yeah, I won with the Moab. Wait, what the fuck? And then we needed one more kill, and I was like, wow. But anyway, got the Moab. Um, yeah, just leave like tips, or not tips, but serious ideas and whatnot in the comment section below. And uh, please rate it and whatnot. A lot, the last video I put up got so many dislikes, but it got a lot of ratings, so I'm glad you guys uh, watched it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and see you to the next one. Peace.